What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, it's your homie, Futuristic Mike. Welcome back to another Tyler Perry Sisters video. Now, this is gonna be the review and recap for Tyler Perry Sisters, season five, episode four. Now, in this episode, Fatima and Zach are still having friction in the relationship, and Sabrina and Maurice are still nowhere to be found. We know they're in jail, but like, what is going on, man? Um, I think, like I said before, the actor and actress that play them, they're doing other projects right now, so they couldn't really be on the show to film at the beginning of the season. You know, hopefully we see them sooner than later. But this was a good episode, man. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Now, they're still having some problems at the gym, man. Fatima has to tell Zach to let her go and stuff because if he doesn't, she said she's going to go crazy. Her dark side's going to come out and stuff. She said she was going to wild out up in that gym. And Zach's tenant you know, keeps on doing stuff. Deja, man, she just will not learn. Fatima catches Deja and her girls talking about Zach in the locker room, and Fatima is not playing around, man. Things get a little physical. You know, she grabs Deja, and she's doing some stuff, and her girls run away. They're not trying to have no parts in this, but Fatima is not playing. And I really don't blame Fatima, though, man, because that's her man, and she has warned Deja time and time again, man. She has warned Deja many times on Zatima and now a couple times on Sisters she has warned Deja and Deja just keeps on doing the same stuff so Deja honestly deserved that shit man I can't believe Q man we see he's bringing girls to Maurice's house now and everything he doesn't even care that that's Maurice's house he's just taking advantage you know he put Maurice in jail and he's just using his spot bringing in girls and stuff this dude is so wrong it's not even funny and we see Q works at the airport with Danny in this episode. Things are just getting crazy with Q, man. I hope he finally gets caught eventually and he ends up going back to jail. He deserves to be in jail. He's a piece of shit. I mean, dude is a real snake, man. He's saying all this stuff to Kelvin and Kelvin is getting pissed off, but he doesn't do anything. There's really nothing he can do, but Kelvin wants to change the locks. Q literally admits to Kelvin that he cut a deal to put Maurice in jail. He literally admits everything. And if Kelvin was smart, he would have recorded this, but he didn't. After that scene with Kelvin and Q, I really wanted to just, you know, jump in the show and punch Q in his face. Like this dude is really getting on my nerves. I didn't know what he was up to at the very beginning when he first started all this, when he first got out of jail and he was messing with Maurice. But now we know, man, dude is a true snake. And I think Kelvin is actually being as quiet as he is because he has something up his sleeve, man. He's going to do something and he's going to put Q back in jail. I really hope so. Now, when we see Miss Lisa, she invites Aaron and Zach over to the house to talk to Karen. You know, she wants them over for dinner and stuff. She even invited Fatima. But Zach is like, no, that's not happening. Karen spends the entire episode in the bed. You know, she's recovering. She's on bed rest and stuff. Pam comes over to see her and she feels salty when she finds out that, you know, Aaron knew she was up there because he knows a doctor up there. You know, Pam said, didn't he know a doctor up there or whatever? That's when she put two and two together and probably felt like shit for going off on Fatima. Now, Pam was never a major character in this show, but you can tell she's becoming more of a main character. You know, she's getting more screen time and stuff. She's trying to be a good friend to Karen. Karen is treating her less shitty because Karen has always went off on Pam. Always. I mean, Pam was always a little too nosy and she's getting better with that now. And you can tell that, you know, they're becoming better friends, Karen and Pam. So I can't wait to see where this friendship goes. Now, Andy and Fatima are at the office. You know, Fatima's not at the gym anymore. She's back at work and she's telling Andy all this stuff about how Karen went off on her how Karen was calling her all kinds of bitches and stuff. You know, Andy's shocked. And then she tells Andy that, you know, Zach called Fatima Karen. And Andy tells Fatima straight up that Zach is over Karen. He's crazy about you. That's all he thinks about is you. She's just telling Fatima not to worry about it. But Fatima just can't help but to think that Zach's still in love with Karen. But it is clear as day that, you know, Zach is in love with Fatima. So I hope Fatima gets over this feeling. And I hope Zach continues to be a good boyfriend to Fatima. He better not mess it up. Now, Zach comes to the office to talk to Fatima. He wants to tell her that he's not in love with Karen anymore. And she just doesn't know. She's like, Zach, I don't know. You know, he's saying, look, 
you're the only one for me. And then he tells her about Miss Lisa calling him, about him going over, you know, to have dinner over there at Karen's and stuff so they can all talk. He tells Fatima Aaron is going over there. And then he tells her that, you know, she invited you too. And Fatima says, nah, nah, I'm not going over there. But Zach promises, you know, to handle Karen once and for all so this can all be behind them. And as Fatima and Zach are leaving the break room, of course, Hayden is standing right there. He has an issue with Zach being in there, you know, because he has a restraining order against him or whatever. And Andy says, look, Zach can be in here because he's my client. But Hayden just keeps on doing stupid shit over and over again. Man, I wish they would write this dude off. And we see Gary paid Robin a visit. You know, Hayden is saying shit to Andy about that. So it's just crazy, man. It's going to be crazy in the next episode. And I can't wait to see what happens next. But this was a solid episode. Next episode looks even better because on the previews for the next one, we see Madam from All the Queen's Men. She's going to be making an appearance finally. And I actually hope she stays on this show. I hope she's not on here for just like, you know, one or two episodes or whatever. I hope she stays on here for a while because I want to see me some Madam. If you guys haven't checked out All the Queen's Men yet, man, get over there to BET Plus and watch All the Queen's Men because Madam is a complete badass. And I can't wait for the second half of All the Queen's Men season two. I'm going to be watching that as soon as it drops. I love me some Madam. But yeah, what did you guys think of this episode? Comment all your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think. What are your theories, thoughts, predictions, and everything else? What do you think is going to happen in that next episode? Keep supporting your boy, and I'll be continuing to bring y'all Tyler Perry sisters content in the future. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and smash that notification bell so you can never miss a video. If you guys want to donate to the channel, I got links below to the PayPal and Cash App accounts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me get out of here, y'all. It's your boy, Futuristic Mike, and I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.